On today's episode, I'm going to show you a simple way to make bee skeps in any size you'd like at home. When I was a little girl, my grandmother had one of these beehive, or the official term is a bee skep, baskets that she used in her house, and I always loved it. I've recently been decorating a friend's home and we're using a bee theme in one of her bathrooms and I wanted to find one. Well, when I went online to find one, it was not that easy and they were very expensive. So I had to make my own, of course. Off to the local home improvement store I went where I found this great rope. This package happens to have been a 50 foot section. Out of that 50 feet, you can make as many or as few as you'd like. It depends on the size of the bee skep or beehive that you choose to make. All you need, other than the rope, is a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun. Now, I have learned through trial and error that it's best to use a high temp hot glue gun. The low temp guns just don't seem to stick quite as well with this rope. Perhaps it's because it's treated with something. I'm not sure the reasoning, but I like the hot temp better. You start by making a circle. Say we'll make ours about this size for now. And then when I put my glue on, I'm kind of putting it towards the inside. Instead of like right on the center top of the rope, I'm putting it on the inside because I don't want it to squeeze through and sh show on the outside of our beehive. And I did it in sections because the glue begins to dry. Just start to bring it up and start to overlap it. Now I found that you do need to hold it for a few seconds until it catches and then you can rotate and continue around. The first five or six rows, depending on how large again that you're making, I go straight up and down. When you get back to where you started, you're just going to continue wrapping. Until you've done several rows. I'll get us to that point and then I'll show you how I began to curve it to make the top of our beehive. So you continue gluing each ring at a time and moving upwards. And as you start to go, you want to begin to move them a little bit closer together with each progressive row after the first four or five. And what that's going to do is give you the domed top of your beehive. When you finish it, you're going to leave a hole in the top, and that's where we're going to put our little hook. The little hook is just about a four or five inch piece of the rope, which I fold in half, add a little hot glue to, and then I'm just going to literally push it down into that hole. and it'll dry in place. Now most bee skeps or beehives have a little opening like this. In order to cut it so that it is just in the bottom of the hive, I like the old fashioned look which is where they're actually up a little higher like this. You need a good sharp scissor and you're just going to go in. I went up a couple of rows I think on most of these. This one I went up three rows and just pushed through. I'll show you on this. push through your rope and then begin by cutting one section. And then you're going to go over about an inch, inch and a half and cut that off and then you would do the same with the piece above it. And that and I kind of think kind of gives you that little domed shape opening for where the bees can buzz in and out. I've seen these done with like mud on the outside. I've seen them done with cinnamon and other scented herbs and spices on the outside when they're used inside to give the home a little bit of a good smell. I like them best out in the garden with my other fun garden decor. You can make little mini ones which are cute for baby showers. You could use them even as a place setting and put the little name tag here. If you make them large, you can use them to hide things. This one's going to hide necessities in the bathroom. They're fun and they're easy and they're much more affordable to make your own than it is to try to purchase one elsewhere. 
I did want to show you one other thing that I just had to do with this rope since I had it and I wanted to coordinate my bathroom. I wanted a bin to keep some bath towels in, but it's a small space. What was I going to do? I took one of those plastic storage containers with the lids, took the lid off, and glued the rope. I started and I just went all the way around and continued just like I did the B scap until I got to the top. This is actually the top of the plastic bin right here. And then I went up a few rows over that. I lined it with some burlap to hide that plastic inside, put a piece of burlap on the bottom, and I've got a coordinated basket to hold bath towels to go in my bee themed bathroom with my beehives and my bee soaps and all my other fun things. If you find your hot glue is showing through your rope after it's dry, it's easy enough to just remove those pieces. So don't be concerned if a little bit sneaks through those openings. I hope you enjoyed this Busy Bee project and stay tuned for the next episode of Behind These Eyes.